Tommy likes his cartoon. A great car pulls up in front of a house. And one of the, the two Latter day Center missionaries gets out, opens up the back door, and Tommy steps out. He's a little bandaged up after the accident he had. And they walk him up to the, the door there. And as they say goodbye, Jared says, We would like you to have time. A copy of the Book of Mormon. LDS, Latter day Center. They're proud of that title. And Jared takes it, you know, that uh, the Bible out and hands it to uh, Tommy. And of course, Tommy can't do much of anything. He doesn't have his arms or his legs. Well, he's got the legs, he doesn't have the arms. I've told you about this representation of the Chinese tree. I'm Milton, son of a carpenter, Mary. Dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter and Mary. I get to make parables. And this one is wrapped in symbolism about the unseen business. Tommy, brown nosing as many do on the Oriental streets, finally obeying, stuck one of his arms in a woodchuck. As the other arm, what's the arm being fed in? The other arm jumped off. It's crawling around that yard somewhere out there. And that brings us to Tommy. He's uh, standing there on the porch, and Jared and Jacob don't know what to do. They, they, most of the folks they hand up cartoon Bible to can you know reach for it uh, Tommy you know, he's had this happen before he come reaches down grabs it with his mouth and he says thank you. you you can't hardly understand what he's saying but then he takes and he puts the the cartoon Bible down the latter day center cartoon Bible puts it down on the little chair right outside the front door and he says could you please get the paper for me, the mean paper boy, always throws it in the rose bushes there with the thorns. He likes to see me scratch myself up trying to get the paper. And Jacob says, well, of course, Tommy. And he goes down and he reaches in and starts to pick up that uh, newspaper. And he's got to have a tug of war with it because, uh, you know, Tommy's arm uh, has a hold of it and he has to pull it loose. He takes it over, and by that time, Rita, uh, uh, Rhea, excuse me, has woken up. And she comes out on the porch and says, oh, no, we're not interested. And the, the, uh, the two missionaries politely excuse themselves and say, well, we'll call you up in a, a week or so, Tommy. Enjoy that uh, cartoon Bible. Yeah, as they get in their car and drive off, oh, one of them, Jared, stops, opens up that trunk, gets uh, that broken unicycle of Tommy's. He was rolling up a hill, lost his balance, and came tumbling down. Uh, that's where Jared and Jacob found him, uh, with that broken unicycle. He hands it back, and Aria thanks them, and they go off, and she says, Tommy, you can't, you just can't talk to anybody, and These folks are looking to get you in the church and all that kind of stuff. And actually, uh, uh, Jared said, well, we got to get going. Uh, we got more marks to see. And uh, Jacob uh, had to correct him real quick and say, uh, uh, more people to missionary to, we mean. But uh, Rhea explained the... Uh, 
Tommy. You've got to be careful. And Tommy says, no, they're nice folks. Uh, not only are there cartoons in the newspaper there. It's a cartoon Bible. Yeah, he's heard one of uh, Stone Cold's uh, parables about that. I'm Melton, son of Carpenter Mary. Uh, oh yeah, let me put that last part in. Where he says, Tommy, you, you got to be more careful. Let me talk to people for you. You remember what happened last week at the hospital? Yeah, Tommy uh, met this nurse and. Yes, he swears he didn't do it on purpose, but she's like me. She knows of the Chinese freak. And uh, she went to take his blood pressure and he didn't have any arms to do it with. So by the time Maria got there, yeah, his, his face was loose. He put it around his neck. I'm going pick up that phone that makes a video and that makes an audio and I'll make your own, Tommy. Oriental Streets. Uh, the video, you can call it a parable if you want. 